we encourage every one of you take notes whatever it is you learn put it to work okay because you can only say you know it all if you know what you know and you know what you don't know and you know what you still need to know does it make sense people yes that's so why we need to talk to other people because big or small educated what i mean by educated is like you have a diploma or uneducated in a university but sometimes education can also be everywhere right Because there are so many things that's available for us and what do teachers do they help us to see them without us reading the very big book that they have read before so if we're going to treat everyone that we meet as a teacher and we have the humility to actually accept that teaching will we not become strong and wise and intelligent we will okay you... first is exposure some of us don't have any idea of what um, a cv is we don't have an idea of what that is so exposure means to check what are the things that well, how does it look like right okay and you have the p practice as you see now you start to write your own if you don't practice you will not master it so expose yourself then practice it after you practice master it but you cannot master unless you practice you cannot practice unless you are exposed does it help no. all right okay 99% um, of every job you will get you have to attend a cv so this topic is very important We are not done yet it's just the introduction all right we are dedicating the whole month for business so do you understand the meaning of cv or do you even know what does cv stands for anyone this is workshop this is workshop in the presence of our lord so we should not hesitate to open our mouth and try it out okay because this is how the lord trains us the lord trains us in his field in the field you cannot there's nobody awarded for being silent all through but we will learn how to speak at the right time talk at the right time be silent at the right time and listen at the right time all right so can anybody tell me what does cv means cv curriculum vitae or vitae all right both pronunciation are okay vitae or vitae if you're from uk you are from america sometimes they pronounce it differently yes curriculum vitae or vitae okay do you know what that is do you actually know what that is? that is because before you create something we should know what we are creating we should know what's the purpose of what we are creating so that we would know how effective it will be you cannot determine the effectivity of something you've created if you don't even know what your target or what your goal is okay can somebody tell me what is cv4 what is it for what do we want to achieve Yes. What is CV4? What do we want to achieve? Yes, sir. <laughs> What is CV4? What do we want to achieve? Anyone? Praise Praise God. Hallelujah. Um I believe my understanding about CV is a document that's you send out there for people to understand or to have an idea of who you are or what you're capable of it's just like a way of selling yourself mm -hmm. to a prospective employer or a partner all right thank you very much okay that's true so a cv is something that we use to help us introduce ourselves to people who do not have an idea of who we really are does that make sense or is it simpler 
CV is for those who don't have an idea of who we really are, but we want to get it across to them because we want to work, we want them to trust us, of course, we want them to pay us so we could, we could prepare something for our family. So we should not be able, you, we should not demand from people to trust us if they don't know us because we did not take the responsibility to tell them who we really are. But the question is, do you have something to tell them about you? So we can't just say, oh, I'm the best in writing CV, but you have nothing to write. You can't say, I have the best CV, but you don't know yourself. It does not make sense, right? So there is a need for us to know who we are first. There is a need for us to know what we don't know yet. All right? I, I, I used to tell my students, you can't say you, you know them all or you know it all. Because you can only say you know it all if you know what you know and you know what you don't know and you know what you still need to know. Does it make sense? Yes, so there is a long list of things to learn and lifetime is not enough to learn everything. That's why we have teachers. That's why we need to collaborate with other people. That's why we need to talk to other people because big or small, educated, what I mean by educated is like you have a diploma or uneducated in a university. But sometimes education can also be everywhere because these days we have this called ubiquitous learning. You know what ubiquitous learning is? Ubiquitous learning is learning everywhere. You talk to somebody, you're learning from somebody. You talk to a simple person, you are getting something from it. So you can't just say, oh, okay, I'm the only educated person because I'm studying in, in a university. Do you know that you can actually educate yourself? Right? There are so many things that's available for us. And what do teachers do? They help us to see them without us reading the very big book that they have read before. So, if we're going to treat everyone that we meet as a teacher and we have the humility to actually accept that teaching, will we not become strong and wise and intelligent? We will. Do you know that here in Qatar, in the past, do you know the cedar tree? Have you seen a cedar tree? Anyone who has never seen a cedar tree, do you know why Qatar... Um, uh, what, what, what's this convention center? Can you see there's a tree there? It's an emblem of the tree. Yeah, there's a tree, there's a facade that's, that looks like a tree. And you can see everywhere in Qatar, Sidra, 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 right? Okay, do you know what that, why is it that Qatar Foundation came up with a Sidra tree? Anyone? Any idea? Because in the, yes. And firm. It's very hard and firm and it, can, and it can stay and endure in the most difficult uh, area and it can thrive, it can survive despite the difficulty to get water. But there is more to that. You know what that is? In the past, the early days in Qatar, people are meeting, the travelers, they meet under the Sidra tree. You know what do they do there? They exchange ideas under the Sidra tree. And that was the early days education here in Qatar. Do you know that? It's an exchange of an idea under the tree. So it's like what we have here. We are a congregation. And if we will just work on to, to teach each other, just be open with what you can learn. Don't look at the person. Don't measure the person. Think about the God that has called the person to be in your presence. You will learn something from them. You can learn from a driver. You can learn from a doctor. You can learn from a student. You can learn from a child. But the thing is, will you be able to discern 
if ever there is learning that's being fed, you know, that's, it's there, will you be able to discern that that is something that you can benefit from? Now, that is wisdom. We need God for that. All right, so, but the problem in this world with a lot of people who are still struggling, I don't want to say no jobs, no, uh, I don't want to say no jobs, but those who are, are, are struggling with getting what they're supposed to have is because they were not able to understand who they are. All right, so I'll just try to be fa faster a little bit. Okay, there are three things I want us to understand also. When we are learning to create something, creating CVs, um, first, we have... E, exposure. Exposure, E. Second is P, practice. S third one is three, mastery. Okay. First is exposure. Some of us don't have any idea of what um, a CV is. We don't have an idea of what that is. So exposure means to check what are the things that, well, how does it look like, right? Okay. And you have the P, practice. As you see, now you start to write your own. If you don't practice, you will not master it. Okay, do you get it? So what's, uh, what's the first one? Exposure. All kinds of learning. May it be job, may it be work, may it be creating CV, may it be in the interview. Everything goes back into the learning process, which is E, P, and M. E is exposure. Get exposed. Know about these things. But just being exposed does not necessarily guarantee that you will be able to practice it. So expose yourself, then practice it. After you practice, master it. But you cannot master unless you practice. You cannot practice unless you are exposed. Does it help? All right, okay. I would, I would uh, have, uh, maybe in the future, we can discuss the roles of mistakes and why you should be patient with yourself if you are still working on yourself in practice and in exposure before you get to mastery. You know, sometimes one of the things that helps, that, that, that blocks us from trying to, to understand what we can do is because we are too hard on ourselves. I should be like this, I should be like that. I am not as good as this person, so I, uh, I don't think I have something to write, so I'm not proud about myself. Those struggles, are something that the enemy is trying to convince you that you're not worth it. But the Lord, as you have, you have seen in the word, the Lord has made you wonderfully, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. But we need to dig in. What are the things that you have there in order for you to be able to reflect it in the CV? And that's where you could be able to build your CV. Remember, CV is not made overnight. It's developed. You develop it over time. But you cannot develop it unless you have a learning heart. Learning heart means you are willing to get something from every experience that you have. All right, can we go to the next page? All right. So, uh, yes, I would like you to reflect. I'm not sure if we have enough time to go for reflection, but how do you see yourself? What are your characteristics? What are the things that you're proud of yourself with? Qualities. What are your qualities? What are your principles? Oh, by the way, this will be shared in the group chat. So even if you don't take notes, we will be sharing this. So, uh, yep, you could, you could enjoy yourselves. <laughs> okay. Characteristics. What are your qualities? What are your principles? What do you believe in? Do you believe that it's okay to make mistakes? Is it okay to believe that you have to really give your best every time? These are your principles. All right. Work ethics. If nobody's watching you, what do you do? If you have the chance to talk to somebody behind somebody's back, will you do it? These are some of the work ethics. Goals. What are your goals? Are you thinking only of the goals that you know? Or are you thinking and exploring the goals that your God has for you? Working style. How do you work? Do you give your best every time? I'm not saying perfect. Are you a perfectionist? Well, I did not say perfectionist is good. Sometimes it's blocking progress. Uh -huh. Somebody told me, don't be a perfectionist, be a completionist. Have a goal and just work on this objective that you've set, achieve it. Because what you cannot measure, you don't know, or uh, what, what, yeah, what you can't, 
what, what you can measure, it's difficult for you to know whether you have achieved it or not, right? Okay, thinking ability. How are your, how are your people skills? Are people comfortable confiding in you? Or are people scared to open up? Uh -huh. So these are part of people's skills. Will people enjoy working with you? Will people enjoy talking to you? You know, there are some, um, there are some managers, they are the best in what they do, but people are scared to actually open up to them. So they are not aware of the problems that's already in their system. Uh -huh. So this is also another thing. So people's skills, how do you manage people? Do you also feel what they feel? Do you have empathy for them? Okay. Do you come on time? All right. Do you procrastinate? Okay, we're all guilty of that. <laughs> but we are all learning. As, as I said, we start from exposure, practice, and mastery. Okay, let's move on. Um, yes, so now we have to understand, before, before creating your CV, you have to think about what do employers want? Because before writing to somebody, you should know what they want, who they are. So if you have different employers, you have different target employers, it would really help if you will get to know what they are looking for, and that's where you're going to craft your CV to suit their needs. So what do the employers want generally? And what we have here, we have experience. Experience, right? That includes your failures. So everything that you've gone through is not wasted. Experience. Teamwork skills. Can you work with a team? Or is it better for you to just go with the flow on your own? Okay. Teamwork skills. Reliable. Are you reliable? Can people rely on you? Okay. Do you take initiative? Do you offer something new? Okay, maturity, are you mature? Emotionally, socially, psychologically, mentally. All right, physically, I don't think they're really, it depends, but physical is also important because you will be representing their company. Willingness to learn, are you willing to learn? So most of the time, employers were ask, will be asking themselves from all these. From what you show them, you are going to, they are going to tell you or they are going to evaluate you based on these. Next page, please. Okay, so if you're going to summarize it, it goes down to three. First, core competence. Can you do the job? Second one is distinguished or distinguishing qualities. Are you self-disciplined? Are you goal-oriented? Are you willing to improve yourself or you're just happy in your comfort zone? Are you a problem solver? Right, so that's distinguishing qualities because it's rare. It's very rare. <laughs> Willingness to learn alone is rare because it's always easier to be comfortable in our our, our own, um, yes, in our, in our own zone. Like we're, whatever we got used to, we like to work on that alone. And the critical traits, what are the critical traits? Are you self-motivated? Are you a hard worker? Are you honest? Are you cl a clear communicator? Clear communicator, can you actually express yourself clearly that people will not be able to misinterpret? All of us are guilty of that. But that will give us a picture of what are the things that we need to work more on ourselves. So. I hope that we have some ideas that, oh, okay, this part, I think I'm good at it. Oh, this part, I think I still have to learn more on that. All right, move on. Okay, so we need to know also, what are the skills that I need to have? What are the things that, as an employee, if, if you want to be an employee, but I, I would want to say this to everyone that, we may be wishing at the beginning to become an employee, but let's not box what the Lord has prepared for you because sometimes he can give you something else, right? No eyes have seen, no ears have heard of what the Lord has prepared for those who love him. So we have to keep it open and keep your mind open into the idea that God can still give you something more than what you expect. So self-management. If you feel you're good, like give me a thumbs up. Self-management, do you think? Yeah? You, can you manage yourself? 
Yes? <laughs> Give me a good thumbs up. Do you, are you good at teamwork? Hmm, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have a positive attitude? <laughs> yes, I can see, yes, I can see Mom Pamela there. Yeah, thinking skills. How's your thinking skills? Yes, do you think? Do you think when there is something or you just say, okay, just let them think? Okay. Uh, communication, can you communicate? Do you openly communicate? Now, I'm not saying you have to tell everybody all your secrets when you say communication because that does not necessarily mean, we have to have wisdom when to speak, when not to speak. Right, and when, when is the right time to be silent and when's the right time to listen and observe. We have willingness to learn. Are you willing to learn? Check yourselves. Yeah, Michael is raising his hand there. Resilience, you know what resilience is? Ha, huh. can I see the hand of those who understand what resilience is? You know what resilience is? I was watching, um, I was watching a, um, um, a video from uh, Harvard, There's a, because I was thinking it would be very expensive for me to go to Harvard, so let me just watch their videos. So I was watching this, and they were talking about resilience in the midst of pandemic, that this is a quality that most employers are also looking for. You know what resilience is? Resilience is the ability to go beyond a challenge. You are in a difficult situation, but still you rise up and shine. That's resilience. That doesn't mean you're not tired. It doesn't mean you're not stressed out, but resilience is like within. It, it's a quality that you have that no matter what, I don't have money now, but yes, I will still rise up. I will shine. Remember the 40 days? It says rise up and shine, right? So that's, that's resilience and it's biblical. So. Those are the employability skills that if we will help ourselves to develop them, definitely, you're going to be a winner. And that's for sure. But I don't know yes, we were going to have another part of this and show an example, but maybe after we're done later on, you could look around. There are some samples of CV and some of the things that you could probably help in developing your profile. I, I don't just want to call it a CV. I want to call it a professional portfolio professional portfolio because it is your collection of what you have achieved so far. And even if nobody said you're a professional, you can always call yourself professional. It is a character. And um, yep. So uh, yeah, we're going to continue next time. Thank you very much. And that's the first part of our beginning. First part of our construction of our season. Thank you. Hallelujah. You see, um, just like uh, Daddy told us this morning, and he said also last week, we've fasted, we've prayed. It is time to put everything we've been asking the Lord for to put them to work. All right? So, and um, as she explained to us this morning, 99% uh, of every job you will get, you have to attend thy CV. So this topic is very important. We are not done yet. It's just the introduction. All right? We are dedicating the whole month for business. So, so we'll continue again next time, like she said, and uh, we encourage every one of you, take notes. Whatever it is you learn, put it to work, okay? And um, if you were unable to write down anything, that's no problem. We will send you the slides. Just make sure you are in one of the church group, okay? Make sure if you're not in any of the group, please see any of the pastorate. We'll ha um, get your phone number and add you to the relevant group. We'll send the slides to the group, study them, use them, and it's going to be beneficial to us in Jesus' name.